Hey y'all, it's Callie and welcome to a special readathon vlog for the In Loveathon. It is like a contemporary based, romance based readathon that happens to fall over the week of Valentine's Day. It's a week long read along from read along readathon from from February 10th to February 16th. I've got my challenges right over here. Um, the goal is to complete seven out of the 10 challenges. I've picked my seven challenges. Knowing that I do have school this week, I've kind of tried to double, triple, whatever, like combine a few so I can finish as many challenges as possible since I do have a pretty busy week. Fingers crossed I can get this done. I do have options for if I finish enough books and I feel like I want to go above and beyond and finish more, like not double up as much. We'll see, hopefully. The first book I'm going to read is What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. I am on page 44. It is so cute so far. I just love all the like references to some of my favorite things, Harry Potter and Dear Evan Hansen. I am reading this for the challenges of read a book by your favorite author, Becky Albertalli, and also for the read an LGBTQ plus romance, because obviously Arthur and Ben are two boys and this is their story about love and such and cuteness. So yeah, if I need to, I will also be using this for the challenge, a book that takes place somewhere you would like to spend Valentine's Day. I didn't really know how to pick a book, so I was like, oh, New York City, that might be cool. Like, I've never been there, might be fun. So yeah, this is the first book I'm gonna read. I'm gonna try to finish it today because today I have all day reading, so fingers crossed I can get this finished. The next book is read a book from your favorite genre that has a romance in it. For this, I picked War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. I already have a loan on the ebook through my library and I'm trying to finish it. It's just harder for me to read fantasy ebooks. And since I love fantasy and I'm in the middle of reading it and it kind of works, that is what I will be hopefully finishing this week for that challenge. For the challenge, read a book with your favorite romance trope. I was like, uh, romance in general is my favorite trope. So I honestly just got my little romance TBR jar over there and just picked a book and I was like, okay. So I picked Teen Idol by Meg Cabot. So we'll see, I know absolutely nothing about this. All I know is in middle school, I was obsessed with the Princess Diaries books by her. So I'm hoping that I will enjoy this at least mildly. Who knows, it just seemed pretty quick, the font's pretty big, and yeah, I'm hoping to finish this this week as well. For Read a Fairy Tale Retelling, I am super excited. I will be reading Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I am so excited to get to this. It was a tie between this and Heartless, and so then I looked at the pages, like the number of pages, because I'm trying to read them all in one week, and I have school, and all of the things I have already said like 20 times. So I'm super excited. Everybody loves this, and I can't wait to get to it. The last challenge I will be completing is the read an original fairy tale and watch the movie, and I got my mom's copy of the Riverside Anthology of Children's Literature. This is a chunker. It's like a brick, but it is so pretty, and I just kind of looked through and I was like hmm I want to watch a Disney movie so then I went and I found Rapunzel so I will be reading Rapunzel and then watching Tangled because Tangled is one of my favorite Disney movies. If I happen to have extra time I will not be doubling up What If It's Us for the challenge to read a book some about somewhere you would like to spend Valentine's Day and for that I would be reading You Are Here by Jennifer E. Smith. This is a road trip I just kind of figured like, hmm, a road trip might be fun with like a significant other on Valentine's Day. That may be cute. So yeah, I just, it was hard for me to find a location that I wanted to spend Valentine's Day because it was like all of these random places like Illinois. I was like, hmm, I don't really want to spend Valentine's Day there. And it was like, I don't really want to spend Valentine's Day in like a fantasy world because they're usually pretty like terrible places to live. So I will hopefully maybe get to this if I have a chance. 
I love Jennifer E. Smith's books. It one of her books, Windfall, was the first audiobook I ever listened to and I actually met her in like 8th grade so it is super fun for me to read these stories and I will hopefully get to it. So I will go ahead and update you guys. I am on page 45, like I said, of What If It's Us. I'm hoping to read quite a bit more soon. And I am on page 256 in Warstorm, which is chapter 10. I am hoping to also read at least a little bit more of that. Um, higher on my priority is this because it completes like three or four challenges for me if I need it to. So this is the one I'm trying to finish first just to get out of the way to get the most challenges as possible out of the way. Um, all I have to do today is edit my vlog from last week. I ended up cutting it short so I could do this week's like vlog by itself for the readathon. And then I have a church event later, but that's like 5.30 to 7.30 I think. So then after that I will come back and get myself around for school and then do some more reading. Hopefully I will get lots and lots of reading done. I tried to find an audiobook, but my loan, like my holds, aren't going to come through anytime soon. And I wasn't really interested in any of the audiobooks that were available, and they didn't really match with any of the challenges. So I'm just not really going to listen to any audiobook. I'm just going to take time that I would listen to audiobook, watching booktube or listening to music, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I will update you guys later today. Hey y'all, it is later on Sunday and I am on chapter 14, which is page 153 of What If It's Us. I really haven't read as much as I was hoping to, but I'm hoping to read a lot more tonight. This book is so cute. I just relate so well to many parts of each of the characters, Arthur and Ben, and it's just, it was a lot, because I was like, this is how I have felt at some point. Like it was so intense and it was, it's so cute. And I love all the Dear Evan Hansen reference, Dear Evan Hansen references and Harry Potter and just, I love these two authors together. I haven't loved an Adam Silvera book yet, but I'm hoping to read more of his books and love his books because I liked the idea of History is All You Left Me, but I didn't love the romance part of it. Like. I don't know, but I am just, oh, I love this so much. I can't wait to finish it. I'm flying through it, where in Air of Fire, it would take me like 30 minutes to read 40 pages. It's taking me like 20 minutes to read 40 pages. So it's like super quick, super easy, super fun, loving it. I should finish it either today, no, not today. I will finish this tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed. Speaking of tomorrow, I will see you then. Hey y'all, so it is Monday morning, bright and early. I had trouble getting to sleep, which was like a thing. I am on page 283, which is chapter 25 of What If It's Us. I relate to lots of aspects of these characters so much, especially Arthur, like that. I love how this book isn't like, oh, I just went ahead and walked up to that guy and it was real smooth and then we decided to go on a date and it was all perfect. Because that's not how it is. I'm so awkward, especially with guys. So like, this is just me because it's so awkward and like, so many of the experience, these experiences are similar to experiences I've had. So it's just like, yes, because it's just, it's, it feels more real almost. Like it's so good. I am loving it. And all of the just like overthinking that Arthur does and how it just, it's just all so cute and I love it and I cannot wait to finish this. I will most definitely finish this today because it is just such a quick, easy read. And next I will be picking up Teen Idol by Meg Cabot. I don't know if I ever told you guys this doesn't really have anything to do with the Inlovathon, but I finished Air of Fire really late on Saturday night before I um, started this vlog, but after I finished last week's vlog. So yeah, I gave it five out of five stars. I really loved it. I really liked how she just like 
casually tied in all of the like fae stuff in the like span of a whole book. I just really liked it. I've been really distracted reading a lot of booktube. I really didn't get as much reading done yesterday as I wanted to. I really wanted to finish at least What If It's Us and then I didn't because like I took a nap and I watched booktube and I did all these other things instead of reading which was okay because it's like contemporary books so I fly through them pretty quickly but I really need to finish at least one book today if not like as much as possible of another one but we'll see today like everything that could go wrong has gone wrong I just it's been a tough day already like <laughs> it's the morning it's like seven o'clock but hopefully it can only get better fingers crossed who knows I'll see you guys later Hey y'all, so it is later Monday night. I just finished What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. Oh my gosh. Definitely five out of five stars. I loved this. The characters were just so relatable and just all of the awkward senior year moments. And it just, uh, it has my whole heart. Like I loved this so much. Of course it was Adam Silvera, so of course it had to be some open-ended ending, but I didn't hate it as much as my friend who has already read it hate. She was like, I wish I had never read the last 20 pages. I liked the last 20 pages just fine. I don't think it was as terrible as she said. So I am super excited. This completes actually a lot of challenges for me, at least for now until I can see how many books I can get read. This is going to work for read a book by your favorite contemporary author, which is Becky Albertalli, because all of her books take place in like the suburbs of Atlanta, and that's where I live, so her characters are just really relatable to me because they're having similar experiences. Like one of my favorite lines in this was something about like how dates in Georgia are paying for your dates Zaxby's and I was like that could actually happen to me because like there's a Zaxby's down the street and like it's just somewhere that a lot of people like to eat so like so relatable love that it also works for reading LGBTQ book because obviously Ben and Arthur are males and they it's this this is their love story and I was so adorable I just oh so cute and the other one that this might be um counting for is the book that takes a place somewhere you would like to visit because or not visit a place you'd like to spend valentine's day because new york city would be a pretty cool place to spend valentine's day i guess i mean i've never been so that would be like a fun experience kind of like arthur who came from Georgia and I'd never been to New York City until that summer. I just, I really enjoyed this. I just, oh. Next, I will be picking up the Riverside Anthology of Children's Literature to read Rapunzel to at least get it read so I can watch the movie adaption whenever I feel like it. Not sure exactly when that's gonna happen, but it will at some point this week, definitely. And then after I finish that, because it is super short, I will be picking up Teen Idol by Meg Cabot. I don't know, I'm just picking this up for the challenge to read a book with your favorite romance trope and I don't really have one and I didn't... I like going into books not knowing anything, so it was kind of hard for me because I didn't really want to read anything into it, so I just chose a random romance book because why not? <laughs> Because I wanted, there weren't any other challenges I felt like I could realistically finish or like felt like I wanted to finish. So I decided to just choose a random book from my TBR, which, story time. So last night, I was just like, you know, hanging out, chilling, and my like second mom, she gets me a lot of books. I've kind of talked about it in one of my haul, in my January haul. She was like, oh, I've got some books for you. So I was like, okay, like, probably like five. There's like 20 books. 
I will definitely be doing an unhaul once I read some of these books because some of these books like I definitely don't want to keep on my shelves because I'm not going to really enjoy them as much as like others and they'll, if I even read them, I might end up just unhauling them and giving them back to a charity or something like that. Haven't decided yet. Might take them to my local Second and Charles if they're in really good condition. A lot of these books are in really good condition. And I've read like a few of them, but not a lot of them, but I will have those in my monthly haul, which I was being so good about not buying books. Oh, but it's perfectly fine. I'm not going to complain because it is free books. How could I complain? Hey y'all, it's still Tuesday night. I just quickly wanted to update you guys. So I finished reading Rapunzel in this children's anthology. And it's so interesting to see like the differences. It was really quick. It took me like less than five minutes. But it was so interesting to see how like they kept some of those like darker aspects in the Disney movie, but they still made it like uh, obviously a Disney movie. So it has like a happier ending like this one said and they lived happily ever after but like the stuff before it was crazy like it was the king's son that like came to like see Rapunzel and he like went blind because like there was the whole betrayal when like Mother Gothel like put Rapunzel's hair down but then he decided to jump out the window and only lost his eyesight because there were thorns in his eyes like it's obviously a fairy tale so it's like not supposed to be true but it was just really interesting to read and like see the similarities and how they can take such a short story and make it like an almost two hour maybe even longer than two hour movie it was just really interesting and I actually really enjoyed that I am really glad I chose this challenge I don't think I would would have read this otherwise and it was just really interesting and I can't wait to see more of the differences when I watch the movie. Hey y'all it's Tuesday morning I wanted to update you on my reading so you know how I was like just starting Teen Idol I'm on page 214 out of 293 so I will definitely be finishing this today and picking up Cinder right after that to start it's just so I don't know ironically because this is how life works. I picked this for favorite romance trope and it seemed for a second there like it was gonna have this trope that I really hate which is like falling in love with the celebrity that like comes to be undercover in town like starstruck from like Disney Channel like I love the songs in that but like the storyline I could live without and I thought that that was gonna happen like in this book and it isn't right now and I'm really happy about that like I really like the way it's going in terms of like the romance right now but we'll see it's a really quick read I don't hate it I don't love it it's just it's a book and I'm gonna be really glad that I just kind of got this off my TBR because while I have enjoyed it I just eh, it's a book <laughs> So I'm hoping to get ready really quickly today so I can film my video for Thursday. I'm thinking I'm going to do a tag. I haven't decided which one yet. I need to do a little bit of research to figure out which one I want to do. Um, so yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. Hey y'all, so it is still Tuesday morning. I just finished Teen Idol by Meg Cavett. I don't know. It was okay. I'll probably give it like 2.5 to 3 stars. It wasn't terrible, it wasn't great. It was just like a book, a romancy book. I also just finished filming my Valentine's Day book tag which should already be up. I just thought it would be a fun video since it's going up on Valentine's Day. So go ahead and head on over to that if you haven't already. The next book I will be picking up for the In Love-a-Thon is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I'm super excited. Everybody loves this and I'm excited to get it read because I just heard amazing amazing things about the whole like Lunar Chronicles and now that I have Scarlet I am like more likely to pick it up because obviously because I'm picking it up. Because I have more of the series, I also have the short story or like novella Ferris, and I don't know where that lays. I need to look on Goodreads to see like, because you know they always have like the Cinder, Lunar Chronicles number one. So like to see where in the series it lands because I feel like I've heard that it's like between one and two or like after two. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going to check before I pick it up. 
So yeah, I will be reading this today. Might even finish it. I'm like way ahead of schedule kind of, kind of, but not really, because I still have this afternoon, Thursday, Friday, this afternoon, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I can read, like, I can finish this early maybe. And then I can kind of like give myself some time and figure out the first book I want to read for the series Crackdown. Or I can maybe even double up and do like, hmm, who knows? We'll find out. I might actually end up reading enough books to complete the challenges without doubling up. Maybe. That might be a little crazy. We will see later. I will catch up with you guys after school. Hey y'all, it is later on Tuesday. I just over the process of the day have been feeling sicker and sicker and I've had a pretty bad headache so even when I wanted to read earlier I wasn't really able to but I'm in chapter 2 of Cinder. I'm on page 24. It's a little hard for me to get into right now. I can kind of see it but I'm still like it started out a little rough because I was like oh what is going on and so I'm going to shower and just sit down and read this until I need to go to bed and the other exciting thing I'm going to do while I read this Cinder the Lunar Chronicles I am going to burn my Lunar Queen candle it is a Lunar Chronicles candle that I got in one of the, I think it was the December Owl Crate. I'm super excited, like when you burn it, the like liquid, you know how it gets like liquidy? It's gold, like it's got shimmers in it. It's so pretty. I love it, it smells really good, but I was saving it to burn it while I read the Lunar Chronicles and I'm reading the Lunar Chronicles. So I will be burning that and reading after I take my shower. I'm just watching a little bit of booktube while I get ready to take my shower and get ready for tomorrow and speaking of tomorrow I will see you guys then hey y'all it is Thursday morning I feel like absolute trash and I have a fever so I probably won't be going to school today it's why I didn't film anything last night I am in chapter 24 of Cinder I'm really enjoying it I'm about a little over halfway through. It's so cute and I love it. I just got sucked in last night and couldn't stop reading. I'm also in chapter 18 of Warstorm, which is about halfway through. Not re like not there yet, but almost. It's really good. Not sure what's gonna happen. Still don't know what I want to happen. <sighs> yeah, I'll probably last night I also got distracted by Akatar fanfiction. <laughs> So I've still got like two more of those I want to read and then I will prioritize booktube and reading the books that I need to read for the in love -a but it's fine. I really only have to finish this one which should be super quick and then the rest of Warstorm which is optimal for sick days because it's an ebook so I can lay down and read it because I don't like laying down and reading like physical books. So that should help because like when I try to take a nap I like to read an ebook until I fall asleep. So yeah, I will probably update you guys later today. If not, then I'm hoping to read. Hey y'all, it is Friday morning. I'm still feeling a little sick, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. Yesterday I did end up finishing Cinder. I just absolutely loved it. The ending was predictable for me, so I didn't give it a full 5 out of 5, I gave it 4 stars, but it was still really gripping, it was a really quick read for me, I really enjoyed it. And then I've been trying to focus on Warstorm so I can get that finished for the challenge of reading a book from your favorite genre that also has a romance, working on it. Um, I've got like 400... 500 pages? I don't know. 400 pages. A little less than that. Yes. A little less than 400 pages left, but that's ebook pages, so it should go relatively quickly. And because I'm reading that on my phone last night when I had to put it on to charge, I picked up You Are Here by Jennifer E. Smith, which was one of the options I gave myself for um, the challenge of 
reading a book that takes place somewhere you would like to be on Valentine's Day and this is like a road trip book so I figured that would be kind of fun and it's really quick I'm on page 100 Oh, I just dropped it. I'm just gonna leave it on the floor. I'm on page 106 and I am just loving it. It's so cute and like the romance is really subtle right now because like he has always, the main guy character has always just kind of been hanging out at the main girl character's house and so he's been around her a lot and he didn't really realize he had feelings for her until they went on this road trip and he was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> and I don't really know if she's realized it yet. It alternates um, chapters, so the odd chapters are her chapters and the even chapters are his chapters. And that's really cool. It's really great. Um, also, I realized today is the start of Series Crackdown Readathon, so Warstorm will actually count for that. I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to start that vlog off at some point. And I need to film a video for Saturday. Hey y'all, so it is later on Friday. I have been reading uh, quite a bit of Warstorm because I have been really good at alternating. Like, I'll watch a booktube video and then read a chapter and watch a video and read a chapter. I am all like made up because my owl creep box is supposed to come today so I think that's the video I'm going to do for Saturday. I will just do my owl crate unboxing. Super excited about that. I have an inkling of an idea of what the book will be and I'm really excited. It also is going to have sprayed edges and a beanie. I can't wait for it to come in the mail. It's gonna be amazing. Let's see how much of Warstorm I read. I'm now on chapter 29. I can't remember where I was before. I haven't read any of you are here because I'm prioritizing Warstorm since it would complete all of the challenges. That one was just, you are here was just an extra because I technically completed the challenge with What If It's Us. But this was just like an extra and since I have today and tomorrow and it's a really quick read, I figured I might as well. So yeah, I am going to read more. I should finish Warstorm and that tonight and it'll be really great. Almost forgot to mention yesterday, last night, I watched Tangled, which officially completed the challenge of read an original fairy tale and watch the movie. I ended up noticing a lot more things. I feel like there are aspects of the movie that are a lot darker than the fairy tale, but the fairy tale was also darker in other ways. Like, it was really interesting to see the changes they made and just like, I was sitting there realizing like, Wow, I never realized how hot Flynn Rider was. Like, it's like, oh wow, where did you come from? <laughs> I was half paying attention. I ended up being on my laptop and my phone playing a game for most of it. But at the end, I was like paying a lot more attention. So it was a really good watch. I was really glad. I just, I love Tangled so much. It's so cute. Okay, so I just finished my last book for the In love -a -thon. Oh, that was so good. I made me cry like two times. <sighs> it was so good. Sometimes the characters were so infuriating and like it was just so good and only 250 pages. Like it took me no time to read at all, but it was so good. I loved it. There was a dog in the book and that was like a big part of the book and it was adorable. I just, I loved it. That was so amazing. I'm... Definitely, I already made my wrap up for like the vlog, but I've made this afterwards. Definitely five out of five stars, like, oh, I loved it. Hey guys, it is later on Friday and I am about to just wrap up the In love -a vlog. Let's get started. The first book I read was What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This completed the challenge of read an LGBTQ romance and also read a contem a, like a romance by your favorite author which in my case is Becky Albertalli. So that was really great. 
Next, I finished Teen Idol by Meg Cabot, and this was for read a book with your favorite romance trope, and I just chose a random one and actually didn't really end up enjoying the trope as much as I thought I was going to because I thought it was going to have one trope that I, that I hate, but then it didn't. I gave this one like 2.5 or 3 stars. I gave What If It's Us 5 stars, just to let you know. And next I finished reading Rapunzel in a children's anthology and then I watched Tangled for the challenge to read an original fairy tale and then watch the movie adaptation. I loved doing that. I love comparing and contrasting the two and seeing how they were both dark in their own ways and they were different and it was just really interesting for me to see. I really loved doing that. I kind of want to do it with more of those kind of classic fairy tales and their movies especially because I really only know the Disney movie side of it so it'll be really interesting to see how they match up and how they don't. The next book I finished was Cinder which was a fairy tale retelling of Cinderella which completed the challenge of read a fairy tale retelling. And this is by Marissa Meyer. I really enjoyed this. I gave this one four stars, I believe, because I I didn't love it because I could see the ending like shocker really easily. I could definitely see it coming and but I still really, really enjoyed it. The story was cute, it just gripped me, and I just absolutely thought it was so adorable. The next book I finished was War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. It is the fourth and final um, Red Queen series book, and I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it, but I felt like the ending wasn't significant enough. Like, the war was big, but it wasn't like... There were other like like battles in that were bigger it felt like to me. Like it felt like there were some parts that just weren't enough but I still really enjoyed it. I just love the characters and I know that a lot of people don't really like it but I don't know I just really enjoyed it. I gave that 4.5 out of 5 stars. I think I already said that. Um, I just really enjoyed it. It was pretty long but I just, it was constant and it was like, it just kept me captivated and I just loved it. And the last book I read this week was You Are Here by Jennifer E. Smith. This is adorable. I read this one for the challenge to read a book somewhere you would like to spend Valentine's Day and I thought a road trip would be a pretty fun way to spend Valentine's Day. This is so much like deeper than I thought it was going to be. It's about a girl going on a road trip with her neighbor kind of on accident because she heads off on a road trip by herself and then she finds herself stuck and she thinks to call him because she doesn't want her parents to know and it is just so touching and it delves into a lot of like these family aspects and even though there's like 50 pages left they still haven't gotten together. Like, she still hasn't realized she likes him. And I kind of like that because it's kind of like, you can see that there's something there, obviously, because he has already, like, expressed that he has feelings. Like, because we get his point of view. But she hasn't really acknowledged, like, she's acknowledged it, but, like, has said that she doesn't really have feelings. And this is a romance book, so I'm really interested to see how this is gonna go. I just, this is so cute and it's adorable and just the family dynamics in it, it's kind of these teenagers realizing that, oh, maybe our families aren't as crappy as we think they are, maybe they're doing a bunch of things to help us instead of just being mean to be mean because obviously like your family's not trying to be boring or something. But it is just so cute to just see their journey and he's like a major history nerd and that is just so cute to read about. I don't know what it is. It was just, it's just so cute. I'm assuming I will give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm really loving it but it's just like not to that level, you know. Very cute. Would highly recommend. I had a great reading week. I have read five books and it's only Friday so it was really great. I am currently reading 
I'm trying to finish this up earlier because I'm participating in the series Crackdown Readathon so I can get a head start on that. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. Stay tuned to see my series Crackdown Readathon vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!